All right guys, so this is a really quick one, but I use it all the time. So I just wanted to show you really quick how I get my text to look like it's being projected. First thing, we're gonna drop a fusion composition in our timeline, of course. And let's start off with just a background. And then first things first, we need our text. So let's add a text node right here. And we'll just call this projection. And there's a couple things that we can do to add some, some texture to this. Right now, if we sort of zoom in on our guy here, it's looking a little, I don't know, digital, a little, uh, it's not fun. How about we add a, let's see. I wanna add a, a prism blur first. So let's add that to the end. So this will affect everything in our node tree. And then let's just zoom in a little bit. So it's adding this, uh, this chroma misalignment, this sort of chromatic aberration. So what we wanna do is turn the aberration strength all the way up. So now we can really see what it's doing. And what I like to do is to change the distance so that it's not really affecting it that much. I think the secret to a lot of visual effects work is to make subtle adjustments so that it's not just banging you over the head trying to get a point across and instead just sells it subtly. So there's also this blur strength. Um, we can use that to sort of make this look a little bit more, maybe there, yeah. I'm also gonna actually make this a little bit bigger, okay. All right, so we have our prism blur, and I think what I'm gonna do next is add a soft glow. Now this is something I use all the time. I'm excited to show you guys this. When you're adding a glow to something, a lot of people will kind of stop here and adjust it to how they like it, but the secret is to zoom in, bring down your size, so that it's really only the text that's glowing, and then Turn this so low that you can almost barely tell that it's on. All right, then we'll add another text glow. This one we'll make just maybe a little bit bigger. And again, turn it on just so you can barely tell that it's on. Let's do another one. A little bit bigger here, same thing. Just till it's barely on there. I'll do probably two more. And this one will really push it out. Make it go a little bit. Let's do one more. This one will make it really, really, really big. And we'll turn it way down. This is how you get a more organic and blended look to your glow. And of course, you can turn this up at any point. I like how this looks right here. It's, it's clearly glowing, but it's not doesn't look like a glow filter was put over it, which is great. And this is driving me crazy. Let's maybe, yeah. And then one other thing I really, really like to do with this is to add a camera shake. And that's the wrong one. Let's do the other one. Yeah, okay. So what I'm gonna do is take the rotation deviation Turn it all the way down. We don't want it to rotate at all. And I'm also gonna change my edges to wrap so that we can, we're not gonna run into any uh, blank spots. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do is change the X deviation and the Y deviation to basically as low as it'll let us. Maybe, maybe one little step up, that's 0 .002. And then, so we can see what we're doing, let's turn the overall strength all the way up and the speed all the way up. And then if we play this, we can see it jittering. And this is, this actually looks pretty good already. Um, from far away, you might not be able to see the projection so much. I think this sells the effect. If you want a little bit more, maybe we change this to 0 .003, and then we turned the overall strength just down a little bit. So now it's gonna move more. The X and Y is just how much the text is actually gonna move, how much it's gonna jitter. And then you can change the overall strength and the speed to get the look that you want. 
I'm gonna go back to 0 0.002. And let's see what we got here. Yeah, let me turn it down a little bit. Great, uh, it's subtle. You almost, if you're, if you're, you know, if you're way back here, you're not gonna really see this. But again, it goes back to that point of subtle effects, subtle little touches is what's really gonna sell your visual effect. And for my Ursa Broadcast G2 video, I did all my titles just like this. There's one more thing you can do if you really, really wanna lean into the projection thing though, and that is an effect called light rays. And I'm going to drag this little guy, which controls where our rays are shooting from. And maybe we'll go like, maybe we'll go right here. Okay. And we're gonna soften this up a little bit. We're also about to die apparently. That's right, we can make it. I'm gonna soften this up just a touch. Turn the length up and then turn the brightness down. I would go here, maybe you wanna lean into it more, go there. This gives a little bit of direction. And then we can end with a film grain. My favorite is 35 millimeter 400T. Maybe turn that up a little bit. Yeah, right there. Beautiful. Super simple, but I find myself using it all the time. Anyway, see you guys in the next one.